Hi, my name is Philip Gutierrez and I'm with Kensington. I'm really excited today to talk to you about our very new SD5300T Thunderbolt 3 docking station with SD card reader. So you're probably wondering, what does Thunderbolt 3 even mean? So the really cool thing about this technology, it's just allowing you to do speeds up to 40 gigabits per second. So to give you an idea of what that even means, it's downloading a 4K video in up to 30 seconds. So this docking station that we're gonna show you now actually is compatible with all Thunderbolt 3 host laptops, just like this MacBook Pro here. Let's talk more about what you can do with this really cool docking station. So as you can see on the left here, we have a dual monitor setup. So we have dual 4K at 60 Hertz, but if you're that extra user that really wants a whole lot more with their monitor, you could do a single 5K if you have a 5K monitor as well. So as we get into our SD5300 docking station, we really want to start going into what we have on the back side of the dock. So. As you can see from right to left, uh, the very first port that you're gonna see here is our power cord port for your power supply. This obviously comes with the docking station to power up the dock. Next port that you're gonna see here is our video port. This is an HDMI port. Specifically, you'll see an HDMI cable going to one of the external monitors. One key note is if you don't have an HDMI cable, feel free to utilize one of our Kensington video cables. We do have an HDMI 2.0 cable um, to help you for your 4K needs. The third port here, as you're gonna see, is actually our most important port because this is the host Thunderbolt 3 port that will connect your laptop to the docking station. So again, this cable here actually comes with the docking station. So please make sure you use the one that is provided with you in your, in your package for your uh, SD5300 docking station. Next port, as you'll see here, is gonna be our secondary video. The nice thing is we actually include this with the docking station and it's actually a USB-C to HDMI adapter. Again, most of the times this is not included. So we do include this with the docking station, which would allow you to do is connect a secondary uh, external monitor through just an HDMI cable. Next port, as you'll see here, is our ethernet port. So this is for your RJ45 cable for connected internet use, uh, one gigabit of speed there for um, anything related to networking. And then last but certainly not least is our three USB ports. These are all three of them will actually be 3.1 Gen 1 ports. As you can see here, we have thumb drives, but of course you can use really anything for your possible peripheral needs, whether it's a printer, whether it's an external hard drive, um, a wireless dongle for your keyboard, mouse, et cetera. You really could use whatever you possibly need uh, to soup up your productivity needs. Now that we've talked about the back of the docking station, let's talk about the front. This is where a lot of the fun stuff's going on. So let's start from the left here. You're gonna see our LED indicators. So the first you're gonna see green, which shows that the docking station is powered and ready to rock and roll. Moving to the second LED indicator, you're gonna see that it's blue. That shows that there's a host device being connected to the docking station. So having both LED indicators on shows that this docking station is fully functional and your ecosystem is ready for, for you to be productive. So now moving down to the line we're getting to some more of the fun ports. So our SD 3.0 card reader, this is a great port that I love, especially because I'm a photographer and I love being able to come back and plug in my SD card reader after a long day of shots and being able to quickly look at all the photos that I've taken for the day. A lot of laptops these days are actually taking out SD card readers. So the fact that this SD 5300 has that port, it is a major plus and a, a huge advantage for my lifestyle. So moving on to the next two USB ports we have, these are both two USB 3.1 Gen one. So now you have a total of the three in the back and two in the front. So now you have five USB ports in total. As you can see, there's actually one connected right now with my iPhone here. The reason why is this port specifically, the one closest to the SD card reader, that is going to be the one that provides you 2.1 amps of charging. So you can charge your phone, um, you can charge some other peripherals, potentially even a tablet as well. You can now use this specific port here to do your charging. The additional one to the right is also gonna be used for similar to the ones that we use in the back. So USB thumb drives, external hard drives, et cetera, for, for your everyday use. And then last but certainly not least, we are gonna have our audio jack. So right, instead of having to connect your sweet new headphones into your laptop, you can now connect it to this docking station so that you do not have any type of peripherals being connected to your laptop directly. So again, this docking station is really providing you everything you really need to be productive in your day and your job and your lifestyle. To even further add some of the other extras that this docking station has is to have two lock slots on the side here. So the one on the bottom is our larger T-bar lock slot. And then the top one is our smaller nano lock slot. To show you how it all works is today we have a microsaver 2.0 lock, which is sold separately from the docking station today. But simply how it works is you grab your lock here 
insert it into the lock slot, twist your key, release, and you now have a secure ST5300 docking station. So if you flip our SD5300 Thunderbolt 3 docking station on its backside, you're actually gonna notice two small little holes there. And why we have those is it's gonna work with our VESA mount that you can see here. This is sold separately from the docking station today, but how it works is that we will provide you with two little screws that allow you to screw the mount onto the docking station. And what that will now allow you to do is mount this entire docking station behind a monitor. So now at this point, you're looking at a complete clutter-free zone on your desk environment. If I could leave you with two thoughts, the big thing is one, like I said earlier, make sure that by all means you use this Thunderbolt 3 host cable that comes with your docking station today that is very important. And then number two, before you consider buying this Kensington Thunderbolt 3 docking station, please make sure that you check that your host laptop supports Thunderbolt 3 like this MacBook Pro here.